What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the really simple but yet common issue with Grand Theft Auto 5 and often a lot of other games. If you're watching this video and you're not necessarily looking for a GTA 5 fix, this video will still probably work for you. It is a very common issue and the steps are basically the same for any program that you're getting this error on. It doesn't matter where you have the game, whether it's Steam, Epic Games or another source, it doesn't matter. There are multiple fixes in this video and more than likely after the first one, your issue will be solved. So our first solution is to simply reinstall DirectX, but usually that's not enough. We need to go ahead and delete a specific file out of our Windows folder that often causes issues and seems to be the file that breaks the most with DirectX. In the description down below, you'll find a link to this page over here. This is Microsoft's download page for DirectX. Simply select a language and click download. After doing this, a new download will start. And before we open it up, let's go ahead and get rid of that broken file that is probably causing issues. So I'll leave this tab open and be ready to open up the program. I'll hold start and press E to bring up a new file browser. I'll open up my C drive, then Windows. I'll look for System32, open this up. And inside of here, we'll be looking for D3DX9 underscore 43 dot DLL. That's all the way down here. If you don't see .dll or these file extensions, at the very top, click view and make sure that file name extensions is checked over here. After you find d3dx9 underscore 43.dll, simply copy this file to your desktop as we'll be removing it from the Windows folder in just a moment. Having a backup is always a good idea when you're messing around with things in Windows. Simply select this file and only this file and press delete on your keyboard. When prompted, hit yes. Simply reinstalling wouldn't repair corrupt files by default, or at least not this one, which is most commonly the issue causing DLL. I'll open up the file we just downloaded. I'll accept to the license agreement. Next, I'll untick the Bing bar. Next, as you can see, it's prompting me that I'll need to do a small download. I'll click next and the download should begin. Then it'll start installing DirectX, super simple. I'll click finish. And if we have a look at the Windows folder that we just deleted d3d943.dll out of, you'll notice it's back here. And if the file size differs in any way, then you definitely know that the previous file you had was corrupt. Now it's been fixed. At this point, you may be able to open up your GCA, but it's not a good idea to do it just yet. What we're gonna do is head across to the description yet again, and I'll be clicking on the next link. It'll take you across to either the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 SP1 redistributable package 86 for 32-bit PCs or the 64-bit version. If you have more than four gigabytes of RAM or you bought your PC recently, it's more than likely a 64-bit operating system. So head across to this link in the description down below. Then simply click the download on this page after you set your language and wait for the download to complete. After it's done, open it up Click yes when prompted for admin. And if you see this on your screen, great. Click repair, next, and wait for this to, and wait for it to finish repairing. If however, you see an install screen, that's even better. Simply just install the program and you should end up somewhere like here where you can click finish and the program will exit. Now we've reinstalled C++ 2010. What we're gonna do is head across to the final link in the description down below, which will take you across to download .NET Framework 4.5. Simply click download on this page once again, and yet again, we'll end up with a file that we can open up and you might see something like this. If you see this, the installation is already complete and doesn't need to be run again. However, if you have the opportunity to click continue, do that and follow through with the installation instructions. If you see this, don't worry about it. It's already installed on your computer. At this point, you should be able to fully reboot your computer. And when you get back into it after a full reboot, you should be able to play Grand Theft Auto 5 as usual. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.